Hosanna, Hosanna. Amen. Amen. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. Amen. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. Amen. What a blessing and joy that we can commemorate Palm Sunday. You know, that day when Jesus triumphantly, you know, entered into Jerusalem. So Amen. welcome to everyone this Palm Sunday. <laughs> Even though we are in spring. Um, <laughs> Snow spring? Snow spring. Snow spring, you know. Well, we got to give God a glory. <laughs> Amen. Those worshiping online, welcome to our worship service. It is our prayer and hope that, you know, you worship God in spirit and in truth, even as you contemplate on what it means, you know, to celebrate Palm Sunday. So we got we'll go to our announcement. We, you know, we it is it is really so sad that you know Jeff passed away. Got Jeff Chamberlain. It's really shocking, and we want to remember Jeff today. Man, he every Sunday Jeff was in church. He always sitting over there, and it's sad that he is not here with us today. So on Tuesday, Linda, I mean Lori, we got a message from Linda and said that Jeff passed away. And Sunday, he actually told me he was going for a surgery um, to, to remove his teeth. And before he could leave church, he insisted I pray with him. And I was in the, it was right out there in the Narthes. And we said a prayer together. And I was hopeful, you know, to see Jeff again. But oftentimes we can't ask why. All we can do is to continue to keep his family in our prayer. Amen? Because Jeff. Chamberlain was special to this church. Yes, he was. He was very special. Amen. And so all through this week, if you if you have the time, you can call his family. And especially Linda, I talked to Linda. And hopefully they are planning a combined ceremony for his mom who died four years ago. And him as well. Because Jeff really loved his mom. And so let us continue to you know, keep the family in prayer. Amen? Amen. Amen. We are passing through this world. You never know. But all we can be a show. Amen? <laughs> that once we serve a, a raising Christ, amen, we know that, you know, Jeff will be in a, is in a better place. Because according to the word of God, there's no pain there. Amen? There's no sorrow. There's no trials. There's no tribulation. So, Jeff, we know you're in a better place. Rest in peace. And may all the soul of all the faithful departed as well. May perpetual peace be upon them. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. And, all, and also want to keep uh, Marlene Anderson and family you know, upon the passing of Jim as well in our prayer. Amen? Mm -hmm. We'll continue to live uh, Daisy in our prayer. Pastor Godwin, Judy, doing well now? Mm -hmm. Getting there. Okay, man, keep you in our prayer. Amy, good to see you today in our prayer. And then the family of uh, George Fairclough and all those who are on spoken prayer requests in our prayer. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Amen. All right. So today, uh, of the V basket, I can't, I can't imagine Kathy, you know, putting over that guy over there. <laughs> For 38 years, 
come on. <laughs> 30, 30 is, is 38, yeah. So it's in the bulletin, it's, it's 38. So wow. 28. So 38 years. So it's, it's not 28, <laughs> but 38 years with that guy over there. <laughs> but we pray that God continue to bless you together. Amen. I will go give you many, many years together, especially putting up with Steve. Sorry about the wrong number, Oh, you now he said. Now he said he's crying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> amen. But it's always a blessing, amen. amen. To hear, you know that, you know we we still have folks in our church and in our world who continue to be together forever. Amen. And we pray that you know we can be inspired by you all. So, this dedication to you all. Scooby-Doo? All right. Okay, let me see that. <laughs> Is it real? Oh, please. <laughs> all right, okay. So, next Sunday, we, we encourage everyone, amen, to come. Amen? Let us worship God in spirit and in truth. Amen? Remembering the reconciliation. I mean, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So we'll be having a combined worship survey with, with the Brazilian church as well. So we, we pray that we continue to be, you know, the way we always, use, always we can do with our hospitality, you know, welcome one another. Amen? Amen. If, if you see someone sitting in your favorite seat, don't complain. Amen? Amen. Amen. It's just one Sunday. Amen? So you come next Sunday, you see somebody in your seat. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, huh? Everybody? Okay, yeah. It's okay, all right. Somebody can sit in my seat, it's okay. It's just one Sunday. Amen? <laughs> so let us come be prepared so we can celebrate the beauty of God. <laughs> Amen. And then Garage said, I wanted Janine to talk about what she, can you please tell, sorry, <laughs> I like Janine to talk about it. The garage sale is coming up in a month, uh, Friday, April 26th, and Saturday, April 27th. Starting probably next Sunday, we'll have a sign-up sheet. Our biggest need will be for volunteers to help with cleanup after the sale. And then as far as setup, we will let you know um, when we need volunteers as we get closer to the date. Um, we're still taking donations, but please contact either Becky Rice or myself. We are pre-sorting and pricing in our room that's very packed anyways. So um, we will make arrangements with you to take your donations. And then if you have any furniture or large items, we are not taking those until Thursday. Uh, and then you are responsible for picking them up if they don't sell. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Right. If it don't sell, give it to Pastor Henry. No. Oh, come on. Like, <laughs> Please. I would like to grab this stuff, you know. Come on. Okay, no problem. Oh, I forgot you were in church. Oh, All right, okay. sweetheart. I would like, oh, right, right. All right, so uh, spring cleanup is coming up, amen? It's in May 4th, on May, May 4th, so mark your calendar for spring cleanup. Yeah, I'm hoping to get some paint and it'll paint the hallway. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. Should I paint it yellow? No. No, come on. Let me paint it yellow. No, you need to confer first. Confer? Yeah, right. talk to... to oh, okay, yeah, sorry. Okay, sorry for that. So we're going to be having a spring cleanup, amen? And then we come, come and let's clean the building. Don, you want to say something? Oh, beautiful. I forgot to say that. So on Thursday, amen, we, you know, the trustee and Don, and we thank God for Laurie, you know, leadership as well for spotting this, you know. So we have a clean bench, amen. Everything clean. Yeah, because you left with me. I don't know. 
We always have, you know, Lord identifying that. So we appreciate that. And then before we go, before we put ourselves in an attitude of worship and recognize who's celebrating birthday today. Birthday? Oh. So continue in prayer. Amen. All right, at this time, we want to put ourselves in an attitude of worship as we worship God in spirit and in truth. Amen. You, you may stay seated. Maybe help.
please stand and join me in the call to worship. We come to prepare for the holiest of weeks. Through praise, with joy on our lips. We through the betrayal and death, craving with hope deep in our hearts. Jesus leads us through this week, and we will follow, for he is the life we long for. He is the word who sustains us. We are palm branches in anticipation. We lay our love before him to cushion his walk. Setting aside all power, glory, and might, he comes modeling humility and obedience for all of us. Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is the one who brings us the kingdom of God. be seated. Bless it. And join me in the opening prayer. Almighty God, we too are a part of the Waymaker's will for restoration. We are called through Jesus Christ to strive for restoration, but we are not called to do this work alone. The one who has made a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert will surely equip us for all we are asked to do in Christ's name. God will empower us to attain all the potential God has placed within us. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Prayer of confession. As I would like to encourage you that daily that we repent of our sin and ask God for mercy, amen, that he will be with us, as he said in 1 John 1, 9. Together, we confess, anointed one, that we accuse ourselves from reaching out to those who need your care. We take your words that there will always be on met knees as a reason not to try to determination to live as faithful followers, faithful disciples, faithful Christians, Help us to work with you for the well-being of your creation, that the fortune of all your people may be restored. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. 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 
Okay, the drop in choir. Thank you, Strand. Amen. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Hosanna. Good morning, boys and girls. How you all doing today? Good. Hosanna. I mean, you guys love Palm Sunday? Yeah, so, you know, I love what you guys were doing this morning. Hmm? Awesome. Do you know during Jesus' day, the crowd actually did that? When they saw him enter the city, they were waving palm branches. You know, it was exciting, you know, for people, you know. Can you imagine putting yourself as a leader and everybody welcoming you? How will you feel? You feel good? Uncomfortable? Yeah, you know, Uncomfortable. Do you feel uncomfortable as well? No. No? <laughs> yeah, I love that. Amen. So not everybody will feel uncomfortable. But some people love it. What about you? You feel uncomfortable? How do you feel? Feel me? It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Kelsey, how will you feel when somebody, you know, waving from branches at you? Oh, you'll be happy. All right. So Jesus was happy, you know. People were waving palm branches at him. Amen. And so as we celebrate Palm Sunday today, we'll go through the week. You know, remember every time to be happy for someone, huh? Be happy. How many of you happy for your teacher? Every, all teacher? I'm laughing at Emily. So. 
No, all the teachers. <laughs> but be happy for all the teachers and all your friends, even the one who were mean to you. Huh? Well, hmm? Hmm? I don't know about that, but you tell me you're gonna try, hmm? Especially the one who are mean to you, then be happy for them. You know, tell them, say, Pastor Henry, say, God love you. You know, this is not. So tell them, say, you know, don't be mean, Pastor Henry. Say, God love you, huh? Can you say that sometimes to them? And then when you see your teacher, they tell them, Oh, you're doing a great job, great job, Emily. Oh, <laughs> we always teach. <tease. laughs> but yeah, but so let us continue to bring joy into the world, amen? Because Jesus brought joy. He wanted each and every one of us to be happy. You know, I know sometimes we'll be sad, but we're in a moment of sadness. Let us live for Jesus Christ, amen? Because he will bring us joy, amen? Because the joy of the Lord will give us what? Strength. So thank you for being here today. Anybody on spring break? No spring break? Good. Spring break? Next week? Okay, you look forward to spring break? All right, good. All right, bless it. All right. Amen. I, was, I don't know where Henry and Oliver went. <laughs> Two boys. They ran away from me today. <laughs> Sorry. Today is from Psalms 118. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This, this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Bind the festal procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will thank, give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. And the gospel reading from John 12. The next day, the great crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it. As it is written, do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written of him and had been done to him. The word of the Lord.
mercy. Thank you. Hosanna to King Jesus. Amen. Amen. Blessed is the one. Amen. Blessing. Amen. When you look at a psalm today that was read beautifully, amen, by Mary, thank you for reading our scripture today. I believe Psalm 118 is one of our most popular psalms, more than Psalm 23. You know, I know most of us say Psalm 23 often, but Psalm 118, especially the 24th verse, this is what? The day. That the Lord have made, let us what rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Every day, amen, it is a day to rejoice and be glad in it, because God woke us up this morning. Amen. amen. It is because of God that we are alive. How many of you believe that? You go to bed, you know, and He wake you up. And so we, when you look at on Palm Sunday today, when we tie that scripture to the triumphant entry of Jesus Christ into Jerusalem, the blessed one, it was a scripture that was fulfilled from the psalmist. Because even in that same verse, they mentioned Hosanna, amen? Hosanna. He said, blessed is the one who come in the name of the Lord. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Amen? The people knew that one day that there would be someone, amen, who would deliver them. And so was Anna. So today I have a few questions to ask for her to ponder over. So one of the questions endlessly debated is whether this incident was accidental or planned. Did Jesus plan to go into Jerusalem? And then people started waving palm branches. What do you think about? Did Jesus one day decide to make a trip into Jerusalem and parade? And, and the parade, you know, parade broke out? Or was this deliberately chosen and planned out to make a statement at this specific time? Hmm? Think about it. The truth is, we may, ne we may never know. But what we do know is that Jesus, who spent the first part of the gospel, amen, telling people not to tell who he was, to keep, you remember Jesus always said that? Don't tell people who I was. Keep it as a secret. All of a sudden, make a big announcement, amen, that Jesus is coming into what? Jerusalem. Can you imagine, amen? Let me, what I can, let me picture uh, Russia. For, you know, let me think of a Russia today. Huh? Russia have a leader. Amen? Jerusalem had a what? A leader at that time. And all of a sudden, someone come into the town and everybody keep running to that person. Can you imagine how the authority felt? Can you imagine how, you know, authority felt at that time? That Jesus is man, the blessed one came into Jerusalem. Jerusalem was fortified by the Romans. Amen. They had an emperor. And then he came into town, and everybody started what? Waving palm branches. What does that tell you? Who Jesus was. And he did not come with a Mercedes Benz, a limousine. Of the beasts, fighting beasts, and all the entourage with security and guns. He came riding on a what? A little donkey. Oh my God. How many people care about donkey? During those days, they considered it nothing. They were looked down on, they were spying on. People didn't care about those things. But Jesus did what? He told them to go and grab him what? A donkey. And today he is going to Jerusalem. Today he's going to Moscow. Today he's going to Washington, D.C. Yes. A Monrovia, a Minneapolis. Yes. Riding on a donkey. Can you think about that? 
Isn't that special, Jesus, what he did? What are some of the things today we overlook? What are some of the things? Bicycle? Can we ride a bike? I mean, bike getting popular. What are some of the most, you know, cars we look down on? Skateboard. Skateboard. Can you imagine skateboarding into what? Minneapolis? Or Washington, D.C.? Everybody, oh, what's going on? Scooter. <laughs> He's on a scooter. Jesus on a scooter. Come in the time. And a blessed one. Huh? What's up with you? What, what do you think Jesus is coming? What do you want him to come on today? Yeah. But Duncan, it shows Jesus' humility. Amen? Amen. What's oftentimes some of us think is not only essential, Jesus make it what? Special. Amen. Amen? So once upon a time, Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey to remind people that he is the blessed one. Yeah. That no military armor, amen, could take him into town. Yeah. Now you see all our leaders today, they are surrounded with whole many bodyguards. And Jesus had his simple disciples, they were 12, and he rode into the town. And people from everywhere, Amen. Wanted to see Jesus. I hope today people from everywhere in this church want to see Jesus. Because Jesus is what? The blessed one. He is special. Amen? Amen. Listen to the gospel story. He went where people felt that there was nobody he made in somebody. Amen? You remember he ate with the lepers? Amen? He met with a woman at the well. Amen? Amen? Everywhere. Now the song said, everywhere he went. He was doing good. Amen? Everyone Jesus when he was doing good. And some people were excited to see Jesus. So today, as we remember Palm Sunday, we remember the blessed one. He is blessed. He is special. But the question for us, are we, we, are we willing to see him? Do we want to see him? Remember that those who read the gospel story, when you read the gospel story, they were saying, Hosanna! Everybody was saying, Hosanna. But on Friday, they were saying, what? <laughs> Crucify him, human beings. What's up with we human beings? Humanity, what's up with us? Amen? Amen? How many of you want to crucify Pastor Henry today? <laughs> All right, no, no, no. All right. That's human nature, whether we like it or not. Amen? Certain time will be for you. Amen? When our interest is what? Amen? Amen. Like for me, you know, my son this morning want to go to McDonald's. No McDonald's this morning. So daddy is not your best friend right now. Because we didn't go to McDonald's? All right, great. He said, no, you know about that. Huh? So oftentimes, maybe when your interest is not met, Amen? You think about what? What do you think about? We're going to have the political system soon. I don't like to talk about politics. It was interesting. We talked about it on Wednesday. He said, don't do it. Don't do it. It was an interesting conversation. Amen? Amen. And I reminded folks that, you know what? Whatever is happening in America today is divine because we are turned away from Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We look up to who? Men. Because we think in leaders, whether Biden or Trump, our interest is met. We are silent, what? Mistaken. That what Jesus rolled into town. Amen? To remind you and I that, was this, who was in power at that time? Was it Nero or Herod? That he was nothing to Jesus. Amen? Because we need to stop focusing our eyes on him, on leaders. Who don't have our best interest at heart. Rather Jesus Christ who have our best interest at heart. Amen. Interest. Hmm? Jesus will always have our what? Best interest at heart. Amen. So let's keep reading. That's just my little politics. I want to get out of the way. Yeah. You got to know people got a Trump side and a Biden side. Amen. amen? But we all are United Methodists. We saw you all. Amen. I hope you're always on Jesus' side. Amen? Because when you're on Jesus' side, man, you can celebrate. You can have fun. Amen? 
You can run up and down, amen, and tell God is good all the time. So he ride this court into the city of Jerusalem, and his followers walk with him and shout, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes, what? In the name of the Lord. Neither of those were run or act. Amen? When a king is going to war, he ride on a what? A horse. When he is proclaiming himself a king of peace, he ride on a donkey and he hands that statement of peace. I mean, there's some little stuff I wrote down, yeah? But Hosanna was a common word for royalty, amen, during those days. So Jesus is royal. So most folks understood it to be a statement of what? Celebration, a shout of joy and welcome, amen? amen. So when we say Hosanna, Hosanna, amen, it is an act of celebration. May every day, amen, may Hosanna be shouted to the King of glory, Amen. May every day when you have problems, amen, when you're thinking of Portland Avenue, you're like, oh, what, you know, what's happening to our church? May we sing Hosanna. Amen. amen. Hosanna, amen. King of glory. If you're having problems in your life, amen, may you sing Hosanna. Amen. amen. If things are going well with you, amen, amen. may today we will sing Hosanna. Because in singing Hosanna, amen, it reassures us that we are passing through this what? This world. How many of you think you're here forever? Nobody. But how many of you believe that Jesus is your Lord and Savior? How many of you doing those things that continue to bring joy to others? Amen? We all do it. Oh, Lori. You know, thank you for, you know how many hours Lori Pokin put in to work, amen? amen? We hire her for how many hours? She worked more than 15 hours. Amen. And she deserved that, amen? amen? Because she is the front door of what? Of our church, amen? amen. So Lori, thank you forever because you bring joy to the world. Amen. amen. She brings joy to our front door. You know, sometimes when I'm hiding, amen? Sometimes I say, you know, Laurie, I don't want to talk to that person. Oh, Pastor, come on. <laughs> so I say, okay, because of you, I'll go out and, you know. Yeah, hi. You can have give it up. She preached joy to the world. Amen? You know, Pim had, you know, I see Pim looking on the other side. Thank you for bringing joy to the world for the church. You know, taking care of all financial stuff. Amen? Yeah. Joy! Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to leave it out. Membership work. Yeah. Thank you for doing it. That brings joy to our work. Amen? Everybody, we know, you know, in one aspect of things, we bring joy to the what? To the world because Jesus is our Lord and Savior. Yeah. Amen? So stop getting frustrated, friends, about things we don't have control over. Yeah. Amen? If you know today, Hosanna, you know, Jesus brought joy into the world, amen, to remind everyone that any time he could go to Jerusalem, but he went to Jerusalem to remind people that he's the King of kings and the Lord of lords, that no power can stop him. Amen? amen? So what matters today, amen? That whatever, if you, think, if you think about something, if you don't have control over it, amen? Give it to God. If you think you have control over it, then solve it. Hmm? If you think you have control over a situation, what? Solve it. If you don't have control over it, amen? Give it to God. Amen? So this Palm Sunday, let Hosanna continue to be the King of Kings. Let us shout Hosanna, amen? Because Jesus is our way. Amen. Truth. Amen. What? Life. No one going to go to God except through who? Jesus. Amen. So let's Jesus. Amen. As we celebrate today, go tomorrow into the world. Amen. amen. And bring joy. Amen. amen. Really what? Joy. Tomorrow, I'm going to keep doing what I keep doing. Walk in this community and then smile at people. Oh, Henry, why are you smiling at me? Hey, you, you okay? <laughs> you know, some people tell me, are you okay? <laughs> okay. 
The last time I, I ran away from Kathy in Walmart because I didn't want her to see what I do. <laughs> she saw me there, like, oh, but she caught me anyway. <laughs> oh, Pastor, not Pastor Henry. No, don't say Pastor Henry. Amen? I'm just walking around, amen, to bring joy. Because when, sometimes when you say Pastor, everybody, why? Some people, why? Run. You're going to talk about that gospel thing. Gospel. But go into the word, friends, amen, and bring joy. Amen. You go, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. He is our blessed one. So this Palm Sunday, let us remember that. that Jesus came, amen, to bring joy into our world. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. pastoral prayer for God to recognize Reverend this is Reverend Michael Y amen, yeah. Yeah, amen. so he used, to, he used to be my pastor in Liberia he's still my pastor amen for the church I went to amen so that's my pastor right here right. for a little one yeah amen so Reverend thanks for being here with us today bless you amen Okay, so prayer, so our, for our pastoral prayer, you know, as we about to pray, amen, I want each and every one of us, amen, to communicate with God, amen, you know, talk about, you know, pray, I mean, the prayer point should be joy, amen, how can God continue to bring joy in us, because when he give us joy, we'll be able to give joy, amen. So the prayer point is to receive joy so we can be what? To give joy. So let us pray. Almighty God, we remember scripture, especially in the song. This is the day that you always made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. Father, because we know that when we woke up this morning, it is because of you. And unknowingly, we may have sinned against you. Knowingly, we may have wronged you. But Lord, we know every day is a day of salvation. This is not a one-time thing. And so, Lord, we say, may your grace continue to set us free. Because we know it's not about our power, not our might, but it's by you. And so, Lord, today we ask, Lord, that you enter our heart, cleanse us, you know, like you cleanse the temple in Jerusalem. Cleanse it, Lord. Cleanse it, Lord, from worry, 
from brokenheartedness. Cleanse us from sadness. Cleanse it, Lord, from things, oh Lord, that are not supposed to be inside of us. That you weed it out in the name of Jesus. And may it be filled with joy. May it be filled with the fruit of the Spirit. May it be filled, Lord. So in order for us to give us joy this week, Lord, and every day, not only give you our joy to our family, but give us joy to those one who we don't think they are worthy because they have hurt us. But Father, we remember on Calvary Cross, you say, forgive them for they don't know what to do. May it be our portion that will forgive those who have hurt us. We say, Lord, Holy Spirit, move in us as a church. Help us, O oh Lord, to be your church. Give her the wisdom, give her the understanding, give her the prodigal know-how, how we can continue to love you and love our neighbors. Give her the ability, Lord, that through our singing, someone may be blessed. That through our interaction, Lord, someone will be blessed. That through our proclamation, someone will be blessed. That through our service to this community, someone will be blessed. We say, Lord, we give you thanks for all what we do, whether we are a nurse, a teacher, a customer, service worker, or a truck driver, or an Uber driver. Whatever we do, Lord, may someone be blessed by us. We give you thanks this Palm Sunday, Lord, remembering our community, our community leaders, and Lord, America in general. In November, Lord, there will be an important election for this country. May Lord help us that we depend on you to choose a leader. And whoever is chosen, Lord, may your will be done. Give us the ability to listen to one another in conversation. And may your joy continue to wrap us with love. We give you thanks and praise. And remember Jeff's family. All those who lost a loved one, Marilyn Anderson. We remember our members, Lord, who are sick. We remember those who weep. Remember those who are struggling with depression, anxiety. We remember them. We lift them up to you, Lord. That because we know in the name of Jesus that you're still in the business of healing. And all those who are sick, Lord, in the name of Jesus, may they be healed. We worship you, we honor you. In Jesus' name, who taught us to pray and say together, Our Father, who art in heaven. Lord, be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thou is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Happy Palm Sunday. At this time, we invite our ushers. Amen. May God continue to bless all your gifts. Amen. Amen. Because of your gift, ministry will continue to happen. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>
Amen. For our prayers of thanksgiving. Together, Almighty and everlasting God, as we bring our gifts and lay them at your altar, we remember the crowds in Jerusalem who lay their cloths on the road, shouting, Hosanna, as Jesus passed. Search our hearts that we might be confident that the Messiah for whom we long is the one you know we need. Jesus Christ, Christ your anointed one, in whose in name, name we pray. pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Blessings. Amen. Hallelujah. Feel it. Amen. I love this song. Amen. Continue to ride in our life. Amen. amen. That will grant in us joy and happiness. Amen. amen. May He always be the one. Amen. That we can look up to. Amen. That will bring out the joy in us. The joy, like little Hezekiah. The joy. Amen. For Henry, sometime. The joy for everyone. Even Oliver. Amen. The joy. Amen. Always come true when we remember when we're a little one. Amen. So go into the world, remember this, that Jesus will bring you joy. Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who come, what? In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Ready? Everything uh, is shaking, God, that's solid rock like David.
There's nothing you can do about it. We had a workout today. Thank you. Yeah, we did. You know, that was great.